I think that's crucial because, see, for me, I don't think we're going to talk about getting out of the mess that we're in unless we engage the younger generation. No question. And the uh, younger no generation, question. they have a different vibe than a lot of us. <laughs> A very different vibe. But we need the language. Uh, we need the language. We have to talk. We got to talk. And There's we a whole generation of us who never said anything. Exactly. And, uh, to the younger to people. To the young folk. And they're just out there. They're struggling. They got unbelievable creativity and imagination, but trying to channel their, their moral outrage. They're, co they're locked into this market with this dominant market way of life. <laughs> but they also know that it's empty and hollow in the end. But all it is is bling. chains and bling bling. It's just. <laughs> You know, well, it's what Nathaniel West called the paraphernalia of suffering. Oof. <laughs> you know, that's a powerful phrase, a powerful phrase. It, is. it really is. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, but he was getting at something that I think the, we, we've got to engage the younger generation with, because in some sense they're imitating us, our materialism, careerism, uh -huh. and so on. But in another sense, they also have grown up in a different kind of world. I mean, they're, they're, their world is, um, is so market-saturated that it's hard for them to gain access to non-market values and activities that, that they can ascribe weight to because everybody's gimme, gimme, gimme. So I'm not well, surprised yeah. that young people, you know, they don't know quite what you're talking about. That yeah. and, and, oh, and sexualizing them. Oh, absolutely. To the point where it, it's absolutely. unrecognizable. Children begin to look seductive. They act, you know, when you begin right. to put 12-year-olds and 14-year-olds on the covers of adult magazines because they don't have the wrinkles. And then the parents who are trying to look like the children and the children are looking like the parents. And, you know, I know I sound a little no, old-fashioned, no, no, but no, no, still. No, no, not really. You know, I think, I, I think you sound moral and mature. It's a sick yeah. civilization. It's all about products. That would be so obsessed with the sexualization of his children, the targeting of his children as a constituency to consume, and think that somehow the future is going to be in mature hands, when they're 100 percent of the future. <laughs> yeah, that's right. not just short-sighted. That's pathological. 